Okay, here we go. This is Garrett, Tears to Joy Ministries.org. This video is called Are Alien Abductions of People Real? Are so called aliens actually abducting people and taking them wherever? And the answer is yes and no. This is a complicated topic here on planet Earth. There is deception going on. There are lies and half lies. There is so much more going on here on Earth and on the moon and on other planets than any of us can possibly know about right now. But praise God that he is fulfilling a prophecy in the Bible where more and more truth is going to be learned and God is doing that now. God is revealing more and more truth now about what is really going on here on earth and on the moon and in our solar system. And, and we're learning this. And I wanted to share some of it with you. So, are alien abductions actually real? Once again, yes and no. I want to give you some numbers here. I want you to, I want you to take a look at some math here, okay? As of 2016, the year 2016, the U.S. population is getting close to 400 million people. 400 million. Did you know that about 2% of the population in the United States claims to be abducted? Claims that they were abducted by entities. Did you know that? 2%. That means when you're walking down the street in Los Angeles or New York or Miami and you see a hundred people walk by, two of them claim to have been abducted. That's a lot. I'm sorry, that's a lot of people. Do you realize that 8 million people in the USA claim to have been abducted? Some of these will be congressmen, police officers, firemen, school teachers, janitors, etc., etc. 8 million people claim that they've been abducted. So what is going on here? Now, let me give you some more math before I talk about this. Here's some more numbers, and I gotta go fast. I can't have two-hour videos, so let's, let's get going. Do you realize that in the last 30 years, If we have 8 million people being abducted for the last 30 years, and by the way, this has been going on much longer than that. This has been going on for a long, long, long time. I'm only going back 30 years. I could go back 50 or 60 or 70. Back to the 1940s. I'm only going back 30 years. I'm only going back to about 1980, 1985. When we have 80, when we have 8 million people being abducted in the USA, divided by 30 years, we're talking about approximately 700 abductions are being taken place every single night in the USA. 
This is just approximate math. Think about that. There are approximately 700 abductions taking place in the USA every single night. Now, according to these statistics, the sky must be filled with spaceships. It must be crowded with spaceships. The sky would be filled with spaceships all over the place. People would be seeing them with their cameras. We would be filming them with with telescopes and photography equipment. Air traffic controllers would see these spaceships all over the place. They would be reported everywhere. 700 abductions a night for the last 30 years, and this doesn't include the other countries. This doesn't include China, which would be seeing 3,000 or 4,000 abductions a night. This doesn't include India and Pakistan and Russia where you would have another 10,000 abductions a night. Every night. This doesn't include the Middle East. This doesn't include Asia. This is just the USA. We would have 700 spaceships in the sky every single night abducting U.S. citizens. And our government is doing absolutely nothing about it. Nothing at all. And there's a reason why, but that should be another video. This video is about the math. Now, either the United States has approximately seven hundred spaceships in the sky every night abducting U.S. citizens or there's something else going on here or there's something else more sinister going on here or maybe there's more deceptions than we thought. Maybe there's some evil demonic activity going on here at nighttime. Let me talk about this for a second. With 8 million people claiming to be abducted, we know that something is going on. We know that something is visiting these people at nighttime. But I don't believe that they're aliens from other planets. Um, I don't believe that. And I'm not going to go into this topic. We have another video about this. The other video is called, Are the Little Gray Aliens Real? Now, I've studied an incredible theory from another Christian person. And I studied it extensively. Where he claims that the demons are showing up at nighttime, but they're not abducting people and taking them onto spaceships, and they're not abducting people and flying them to other planets. Now brace yourself, because you probably never heard this before. But he claims that these demons working with the U.S. secret services like the CIA and other secret services are abducting people and taking them to locations which are designed like a movie set to look like an alien ship, to look like an alien spaceship. Now, if you never heard this before, your initial instinct is to laugh at me or to laugh at this theory. But I pray you'll 
meditate on it for a couple of weeks. Because we know that there are secret parts of our U.S. government working hand in hand with the demons together, doing evil. So he claims that these demons are shape shifting into gray aliens, and they're actually taking U.S. citizens to a location designed like a Hollywood movie set to look like an alien spacecraft, and there. The, the people, the men and women are sexually abused and all kinds of other things are done to them. That's an interesting theory to pray about with God. Then there's another Christian man I know and I really respect this person. This guy's very wise. And he wrote a book or article about how the demons are showing up in your bedroom. They shapeshift into a gray alien. And they don't actually abduct you, but they hypnotize you. They hypnotize you with supernatural power. And they make you think you're being abducted. They make you think that you're flying through the wall of your bedroom up into a spacecraft where you walk around barefoot, where experiments are done on you, where you talk with these so-called aliens and they share a new age gospel with you. And when I read that, it was fascinating because he went into great detail how human beings can hypnotize each other to such incredible level, you'll actually think you're a dog. You'll actually think you're a bird. You will walk around thinking you're a monkey. And he goes into the science of this. He goes into the psychology of this. And it's really a fascinating read because if human beings can do this to each other, can we even begin to understand what a demon could do to you through, hip, through hypnotizing you? We can't even begin to understand what they can do. So could a demon hypnotize you and make you think you're flying through the wall, going into a spacecraft, touching real metal, sitting on an examination table, being examined by aliens, of course they could. Even the simplest, weakest demons could do this to you. So I want you to think about that. I want you to pray about that. Amen. Satan and the demons are always working in lies and secrets, and they hide behind the shadows, and they're working in deceptions. This is what they do. This is who they are. So number one, we have a theory that people are being abducted by the demons and taken to a place that's like a movie set run by, sec by the secret services of the USA and the demons together. That you're abducted and taken to a movie set. We have another theory that the demons are shape-shifting and showing up in your bedroom and they're using very advanced, incredible, supernatural ability to hypnotize you. And in your mind, they are making you think that you're leaving your apartment, you're flying through the wall, you're going up into a spaceship, that you're walking around in a metallic spaceship, that you're seeing real aliens, that you're talking to real aliens, et cetera, et cetera. So we have that theory that you're being hypnotized. And now the other theory would be that you actually are flying through the wall of your apartment or house that you actually are hovering in, in the sky, going up into a spaceship, that you actually are in a real spaceship up in the sky, 
being examined, being tortured, being sexually raped, being hurt, being scared, being frightened. And that the demons and the hybrid beings are shape-shifting into little gray aliens and that they do talk to you. Now let's think about this last one. Is this really, really happening? I believe yes, sometimes. Sometimes. Remember, you would have to have 700 spaceships in the sky, hovering above apartments in mega cities, in towns, in rural areas, out in the countryside, but also in Los Angeles in front of 5 million people, also happening in Miami, for this last theory to be real. That doesn't sound very likely, people. With all the people working the graveyard shift in Los Angeles and Las Vegas and Miami and Dallas and Houston, coming home late at night from work, we would all see the spacecraft. We would see you hovering in the sky. We would see the supposed light coming down from the spacecraft that's pulling you up and teleporting you up into the ship. We would all see it. Everyone would see it. Everybody has a smartphone now. Everybody would be taking pictures. Everybody would be filming this. So do I believe that the last theory here, that you actually are going through your bedroom wall, that you actually are being pulled up into the sky by, by a beam of light, that you're being pulled into a spacecraft, that you're actually in a real spacecraft, that you're actually walking around a real metallic, metallic craft, do I believe that that actually happens? Yes, I do sometimes. But I'm learning how sneaky these demons are as God keeps teaching me and teaching me. I'm learning more and more. And man, they are sneaky. They are working in shadows. They are working in deception. So I, do I believe that we're taken to a Hollywood-type set, movie set? Do you know I've had seven or eight years to meditate on this and to think about this? And I think that's very, very possible with the Secret Service involved. Oh, yes, I do, because they are working with the demons. They're working with them underground in laboratories and military complexes. Yes, they are, and they're working with them on the moon. So I believe that one's very possible, yes. Do I believe the second theory that they're using very advanced forms of hypnotizing us in our mind, in our bedroom? I do. I really believe that one, yes. I believe they're attacking our mind and putting strong images in our mind of an, of a abduction scenario in our mind, in our bedroom, or in our kitchen, or when we fall asleep on the living room couch. Yes, I do believe that one. Do I believe the third one? Are we really being abducted and teleported through the sky into a metallic spacecraft? Yes, I do. I believe that happens sometimes. Yes, I do. Are you starting to see how bad we need Jesus? Wow. We have the demons coming into our bedrooms, living room, kitchen, houses, and even our offices at work late at night shape-shifting into little fake aliens. Wow, we need Jesus. Wow, 